Hello guys, welcome to A Train Parrot. Very quick update, Gavin's DCA backtester now is able to backtest the performance of external orchestration signals. So far, we've been able only to backtest the performance of orchestration signals that are available in the TTP community. But users have been requesting whether we can also backtest using their own orchestration signals, which I find an amazing idea. So today we are adding the option to do that. And in this video, I'm gonna explain, number one, how to create your own orchestration signal, how to backtest it with Gavin's DCA backtester, and then how to send alerts so your actual DCA bots can start and stop based on the signals of your own orchestration signal. So when you're using Gavin's DCA backtester, you can configure around here all the settings of the DCA bot. We are gonna leave that untouched. We are not gonna change anything and we're gonna focus only on the orchestration side of the script. In this area, we enable the orchestration. In this area, we enable the orchestration and we are able to select which of all the orchestration signals that are available in the TTP community you want to use and you want to understand whether you want to understand which one is the one that's going to perform the best with your actual strategy. But now, as you can see here at the bottom of this menu, now you have the option to select an external or orchestration signal. Once you select external, we're going to go here to the external indicator settings and we are going to select an external orchestration signal. Bear with me, because I'm going to explain to you how to create your own external orchestration signal. At the moment, I already have one. I'm going to select it. And because I know I'm using three for when I want to buy and I want to use the number five for when I want to sell, I'm already selecting those two values. At the moment, I'm not closing the deal at market price when there is a stop. But if I want, I can hit close deal at market price and the strategy is going to update and close all the deals at market price when there is a stop value in the external signal. If we focus on an area where there are deals, you're going to find that the bot is opening deals only when the signal is printing three. And as soon as it prints five, it closes whichever deal it's open, which is exactly what we want to do. You could revert these things and you could say trade after it triggers a buy or you could trade when it triggers a sell and you could revert the effect of the orchestration, which is something that you might want to do when you're doing a short. So as you can see, backtesting an external signal is pretty simple. But now the question is how you can create an external signal. And I have already created one right here. You can see that it's printing three and it's printing five. That is how I'm controlling when I want to start the bot and when I want to stop it or close all the deals at the market price. The code of this orchestrator is extremely simple. All you have to do is create an indicator, give it a name, make sure that it's using overlay false because we want to print these signals in a separate panel uh, from what is the actual backtesting, so you can see it more clearly. In this case, I'm using just simply RSI as an orchestration signal. I'm using the close and an RSI with length 14. And my condition is just very random, just for illustration purposes. We are going to start the bot when the condition of the RSI is above 50. And when this condition is false, we are gonna stop the bot. So my variable says condition equals RSI over 50. And when the condition is true, it's going to print three. And when it's false, it's going to print five. And that is going to appear as RSI org, as simple as that. But now let's make sure that we can actually use this orchestration signal with any bots. You can say alert condition or condition to start the bot. That is when the value is above 50 and not condition the reverse the reverse of being above 50 to stop the bot once you have done these two conditions and this is in the chart you can head down to alerts and select your orchestration and you can use the start bot or the stop bot which on the bar 
close is my preference and that is what you can send directly to your three commas bots for that you're going to have to use three commas webhook you can use the webhook of any other provider just make sure that in the message you include the payload that they give you for starting stopping the bot or closing deals at market price so that's pretty much how you can backtest your own orchestration signal see how it works send the alerts to your bots and i think it's a really great idea to run your own orchestration signal all observer members get access to gavin's dca backtester VIP users get access to a few extra VIP features, like for example, this advanced statistics table, and also the option to backtest close deal at market price. VIP members also get access to Aster's DCA backtester, which is our new generation of DCA backtesting, much faster and with many other features introduced, like for example, take profit conditions. Apart from free commas, I've noticed that there are other platforms that are starting to introduce take profit conditions. Like for example, Mysar, they have the option right now as well to do take profit conditions, which is pretty cool. Thanks so much for watching this video today. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe to the channel, and the best thing that you can do to support our community is to leave a comment down below. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.